All right, guys, I'm halfway up the lake, and now I'm talking to you about where I'm been to start now. The <laughs> reason is somebody wasn't too smart this morning. He got halfway up the lake, but he realized he hadn't turned on any microphones. Not a lot of sound then. But you haven't missed much. I had one small bass with a plastic worm. The boat knocked down the line. I put one cast up along next to it. Thought it was just perfect. Hooked the fish the way I wanted, and then I lost him. But I came around the other side of the dock. I did the exact same thing on the other side of the dock. And this time I found a fish and I got him in the boat. So we're now halfway up the lake. Two so far. Now we'll have sound. Let's see how the rest of the day goes. There we go. Found one right on the edge. There we go. Not real big, but hey, we'll take it. We'll take it. It's been a while. About the same thing I said, same thing I did on the dock. So let me get the vegetation off. <laughs> it's just chatterbait. My goodness. But basically, I get as close as I can, run it right along the edge, Let's see if there's some more do the same thing. There we go. Got one with a jig. There we go. He was out there ways. That's good because it's going to work down the deeper bank now. There you are, fish. There you are. Well, yeah, we'll just we'll hoist you over. A little bit bigger. I wouldn't have done that, but there we go. Not a little bit better. That's probably a, that'll make 15, I think. With a jig, we're going to start working down this deeper bank now. This is the part I like, this deeper. I can work a jig and I can work a crankbait. Well, I'll tell you what, guys, the water quality of this lake leaves something to be desired. It's not nearly as good as the other ones around here. I'm going to probably attribute some of that to the carp. I've really seen a lot of carp splashing around today. And I'll tell you what, they'll mess up a lake real bad. Unfortunately, that's also had an effect on how we fish today. The very first bass I caught before we had sound was up near the bank, and that's it. Everything else has been out a little bit deeper. And I think a lot of times what you're going to have is those carp responding, they're splashing all over the place and making a racket on the bank. It just pushes the bass out off the bank have not been able to find anything on the bank today. All right, guys, we're just kind of going back and forth. Chatterbait and a jig. There we go, going sideways. Never felt him at all. It was just going sideways. That's a nice fish. That is a really nice fish. Never felt him bite, but the, you could see the line. Get out of the tree. Get out of the tree. Uh, yeah, you go to that side of the boat. Oh, man. Get him around over here again. Oh, baby, baby, baby. <laughs> that is a fish. I don't have to hold that one close to the camera, guys, to make it look big. Whew. Tell you what, not didn't feel a thing. It was just line moving sideways. You could see it with the high visibility line. Got to get a weight. Look at that fish. Wow. That is a beaut. There we are, guys. 
five pounds on the button. Oh, that's a biggie. Not gonna even bother to measure. Nice fish, thank you, girl. Woo, way back up in with the, oh, let me get it up here. Blue black jig, fish in the brush. Didn't even feel the bite. She just slowly started cruising sideways with the line. All right, that does day one. Tomorrow, we're gonna pick another lake. Hopefully we're gonna do a little bit better. I'm really disappointed in the water quality of this lake. It wasn't nearly what it was last year. I look so forward to coming here. Got a really nice fish though. All right, let's hope tomorrow is even better. All right guys, here we go. Day two, let's hope this one's better than the last one. All right, wake bait didn't pan out, so at least not there. We're gonna move out right in front of me, should be a hump. We're gonna go look for that hump. I've caught a lot of fish standing on the fishing dock up in front of us, throwing to that hump. So we'll try it from this direction. Right now I'm in 16 feet of water. By the way, just back there a little bit, I was in three feet of water. Now I'm in 16. That hump should be about eight feet deep, something like that. Basically what I'm working on is just taking a jig, dropping it all the way to the bottom, Oh, there's somebody grabbing a hold of it. Uh, it wasn't there when I set the hook. Yeah, yes, no. Yes, he is. <laughs> All right, Bob would be proud of me. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. There we go, guys. Fish, first fish of the day. And it's through the mouth. Outside in, but it's through the mouth. <laughs> Let's see if we can find something bigger, okay? There you go, got it. <clears throat> With a worm, huh? Oh, that's a decent little fish. That ain't bad. <clears throat> There we go, guys. Mm, there we go. Get that hook out of him. There we go. 13 inch, maybe. A lot of slime here, too, ain't there? Not as bad as yesterday's, but there is some. <laughs> if he's still on, yeah, he's on. <laughs> well, fall hooked him. <laughs> Little guy, I fall hooked you, buddy. Sorry about that. That's what you get for coming after my worm. Well, that wasn't bad, was it? All right, hold still. There you go, real little guy. It does come to a time when a fish isn't always a fish. There's times it's a half a fish, or less. Well guys, normally, this is kind of a deep bank along here. Normally I'd be sitting out here off the edge running a crankbait through here. It's deep enough I wouldn't have to fight too much vegetation. But today, I don't know, so far we've been finding small ones in the shade with a worm. So, We'll fish this bank with a worm. We'll see what happens. Yeah, it's a little late. Don't I always come back later and say, well, let's try it with a, come back and do it again with crankbait. There we go. Got me. Oh, there we go. A little better than the last one. Kind of a pocket back in there, and that's what I went for. That's where he was. 
Oh yeah, that's a lot better than the last one. Yeah, you're a lot better than the last one. Get... There we go, guys. Uh, 13, 14 inch, something like that. Chubby little thing. Got a belly on her. Should be spawning. That guy that's supposed to be fairly noted around here for fishing said, ah, oh, the spawn is over. But, you know, I have yet to find a bass with its fins kind of chewed up a little from fanning on a bed. So, I don't think I'm going to buy what he's selling this time around. Got him. There we go. Oh, that's a decent fish. Whoa, come here. There we go. That's not bad. Yeah, we can take that. There we go. Not as big as the last one, I don't think, but still decent fish. All right. At least it wasn't a little runt, huh? Well, guys, two days. We caught fish, caught one real nice fish. But I can't say I was really thrilled with the two days. First day, I didn't like the water. Today, I wanted the diversity to catch them different. All I could do is catch them in a shallow shade and a worm. Beyond that, nothing else ever worked. So I guess that's why fishing works that way sometimes. Thanks for sticking with me. Subscribe to the channel if you would. Hope to see you again real soon.